Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have some soothing uh, news for you and for me as well. And uh, I'm just letting you know that if uh, <clears throat> the sovereign country of North Korea, independent, like, like Ukraine, will uh, conduct another nuclear test on its territory, you know, as a sovereign country, then uh, Japan, US and South Korea to coordinate against North Korea. What does that mean? They will coordinate. So, are you ready? Of course, you guys, or I, I'm about, I don't know, six, eight thousand, I don't know how many thousands of miles away from this coordination. The guys in, in South Korea and Japan are next door. So yeah, I'm glad we coordinate with you guys. And if those guys dare to conduct another test, then you guys over there coordinate. And I don't know what that means. Are you gonna attack North Korea? I hope you know that something, uh, you're gonna take care of North Korea, those evil people over there. But I'm right here and I'll be watching from far away. I will not be touched a bit, but you might be blown up. Great, 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 great tactic here. Great thinking. Uh, but you can say, hey, what's the alternative? I'll tell you. This article comes from the Jerusalem Post from the state of Israel, from the Jewish state. I bought me some time. Breaking news. This comes from November 13th, 2022. US, Japan, South Korea, to coordinate if North Korea conducts seventh nuclear test. The United States, Japan and South Korea will have a coordinated response if North Korea carries out a seventh nuclear test. White House National Security Advisor Weasel Jake Sullivan said on Sunday as uh, semi-conscious President Joe Biden traveled to the G20 summit in Indonesia. Sullivan, speaking to reporters abroad aboard Air Force One, also reiterated that Pyongyang's nuclear test would be a flag flagrant violation of multiple United Nations Security Council resolutions. Oh, really? Oh, is Israel in any violation on any multiple United Nations Council security boom, 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 boom? No? Okay, that's good. Well, at least they're doing fine. So, what is the coordinate, coordinated response? That's all I have on this article. They're very cheap. <laughs> it comes from the Jerusalem Post. What do you expect, right? Very cheap at uh, talking. That's it. Coordinated response. Will it be military response? Would it be sanctions? If it's coordinated, why only by those three countries? What does that mean? Let, let's see. What can they do? All right. So those guys are bing, 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 bong, gong, 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 gong. They conduct the seventh son of the seventh son, right? Iron Maiden again. What can I do? Anyway, so you have this uh, uh, country, independent, sovereign, conducts its little thing like other countries who possess nuclear weapons, other some that are not supposed to, but nobody cares because they're Israel. Oh, again. And anyway, we have here a test. What can these guys do? Are they going to attack? North Korea? No. Uh, they can do this. I think they can uh, try to, and I'm not uh, condoning that, I'm not for it. They could uh, try to assassinate uh, the leader of North Korea, my uh, Woodchuck, King Jong-un. All right, that's a little regime change. But you can't just take care of him only because he's got a crazier sister, looks like. This is just what it looks like, okay? I am not saying she is, but I uh, <coughs> uh, heard her making some comments and they were like, man, I hope she's not gonna get the reins of the uh, North Korean state because she seemed to be a little bit more out there 
than uh, the woodchuck. At least the woodchuck likes porn, he likes uh, uh, basketball, you know, he likes westerns, I think, like his dad, you know, like Stalin too. So it's okay, but uh, this woman, I don't know exactly what she like, what she is into, if you know what I mean, or what's in her anyway. So, uh, militarily, they cannot do anything because those guys are just gonna, they can't attack them, those guys are gonna blow the area up. So there's not gonna be it. It's gonna be another chance is to, economically, they're already there. What else they can do? I don't think anything else because they got China and whomever. So no, they're not going to do anything economically. Then what? Politically? What are they going to do? Isolate isolate them again? Like uh, they isolated uh, Russia? It's not going to work. The only thing that you have to do with these guys is back off, let the North Korea uh, uh, talk with South Korea without the common denominator when we have uh, every fight almost on this planet of a certain kind of mag magnitude i'm talking you're gonna find the same traces of uh, menstrual blood on the floor and it's from the same subject and that is yes zimbabwe so make sure that you get the fuck out of other people's problems and stop protecting other countries like that you i'm not saying you should not protect countries but it seems like you uh, do more uh, evil than good. Look how many areas on this planet are ready to blow up. And I can trace your blood, <clears throat> that kind of blood, uh, on the floor from point A to point B, to point C to point E and so on, D and so on. It's because you are part of it. And it's just a coincidental, right? Because you're part of the good. And whereas you need to fight for the good, you are there present, Zimbabwe, right? Talk to these guys. Uh, we, we tried. I don't know. Look, we got the other guy, the crazy guy, right? Uh, President 40, 45. Were there any problems when that guy was over there? No, there was no problems. I'm talking about Trump. Trump and the woodchuck. They were okay. The orange man, orange man and uh, the woodchuck. They got along. However, they got along. They were not shooting rockets, they were not getting to these tests, they were not attacking. What, these guys now, they're going to solve the world's evils or something? The world's problems? This administration? Look who they fuck are! Look at them! If you think that Biden or Kamala, okay, do you think she's going to be able to do something? Who? Mark Milley? Austin? Those two generals, they're like pussified? Sullivan? Blinken? Give me the fucking name. Show me one. Show me one. Uh, what's her name? <laughs> uh, Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre Belmondo? Is she gonna be the one? Show me a guy or a person over there that's gonna be like, you know, that you, oh my god, look at this guy or look at this person. So I can't, I, I'm neutral, you know what I mean? Uh, look at this person. Show me fucking one. Did you see the CIA and the FBI directors? Jesus Christ. And these guys are going to solve the ills of the world. Nice. That's when you have children with guns. That's why children should, children should not have access to guns. Okay? Because they're not responsible. And they don't know the limits. And these guys are, as I said before, are like drunk people with a shotgun in the parking lot full of people, unarmed people. And they're in a bad mood and drunk. What could possibly happen? You know? Hey, what are you looking at? Boom. Hey, do you make fun of me? Boom. Hey, you're kind of fat. Boom. Is that what they're going to do? Anyway, this is the this is the um, the world we live in. We have uh, Taiwan, we got North Korea, we got uh, Ukraine, we have the Balkans, we have um, uh, Syria, we have Iran. If you look, everything is far away. Nothing is like in Mexico or not because uh, or I don't know the communist Canada. No, 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 no. Everything is. Always far away, not close to us, to Zimbabwe. Nah, nah, nah. Is that a coincidence? Anyway.
I mean, you know those little fish swimming with a shark? The shark is not going to eat them here. They're going to eat those guys over there. Anyway, uh, it's just uh, irritating, irritating, irritating. What can they do? Talk, talk and use diplomacy. Stop using the bully m m method of, you know, blackmail and threats. And, uh, you know, uh, so speak softly and carry a big stick. That's gone. It's gone. Because the other ones have big sticks too now. So what they're going to do, they're going to hit you back in your ankle. You hit them in the head, they hit you in the ankle. And you're going to get hurt. You're going to be limping. Maybe differently able for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. And who's, who's suffering? Those guys are not. They are in charge of us because we are the subjects. They give money to whomever, how much they want. What's up with that? What's up with that? Oh, let's give him 400 million. Oh, no, let's give him uh, 2 billion. Oh, let's give him 18 billion. Whose money is that? Is that yours? How come is, how can you distribute it like that without asking me? You don't talk about uh, $3 or five, 50 cents. You talk about billions of dollars in my name. I guarantee you, look at me, now 99% that the woodchuck will do the test. 99%. He's that kind of person. 99% he's going to conduct the test. And I'll be coming back wearing probably a different shirt and tell you, uh, hey, the woodchuck did it. Now let's see, the ball is in the, the guy's uh, uh, underwear. See what they're going to do with it. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.